take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Here are some common wildlife management practices. Fires and selective burning. Timber sales. Selective cutting of trees opens the canopy of the forest, allowing the understory to grow. Hunting. Trapping. Food plots. Conservation easements. Wildlife refuges and wildlife management areas. Take our lead. One compelling benefit that comes from wildlife conservation efforts is that it ensures food security. Protecting forests from deforestation and rebuilding forest habitats to preserve biodiversity aids in the carbon sequestering process, provides new economic opportunities, and guards against erosion. Let's help you make your mark. Wildlife populations are managed for several reasons, such as to control an overpopulation, to avoid overharvesting, to maintain populations at levels compatible with the sustained yield of products such as food, trophies and furs, and to support ecosystem processes and resilience. Make your mark take our lead. As an art wildlife management is the application of knowledge to achieve goals. Wildlife managers use scientific methods to obtain information about populations and habitats. They require the objectivity of scientists. They also require manual and communication skills achieved through experience. Take our lead. Wildlife habitat are areas distributed horizontally and vertically across the landscape that fulfill the needs of a specific wildlife species for the basic requirements of food, water, reproduction, nesting, and protection against predators and competitors, cover. Take our lead. One goal of wildlife management is to keep the population low enough through hunting so the crash level is not reached. Reducing the impact of this boom and bust cycle prevents death and suffering of the species involved, while also preventing habitat degradation and waste of the wildlife resource. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.